in this short video i'm going to explain how to start a commodity trading business without prior experience hey i'm damien and if you don't know me i'm a former commodity trader i started a bunch of small commodity trading businesses and now i work in trade finance helping commodity trading firms getting access to transactional credit line to be honest i've never thought that i would need to do a video like this but the level of delusion that i see is at an all time high now that i have this small youtube channel every week i get emails i get messages that say something a little bit like that hey daniel i want to start trading on my own but i have nobody but you know what i have i have a very good supplier of jet fury okay so do you have like any previous experience in sales, international trade, logistic, or something in that product? No. Or does your father own an oil ring, an airline, or something like this? Uh, no. Okay, so let me get it straight. So you have no money, you have no experience, and you know someone that could supply jet fuel, and you think that you are going to make money out of it? Do you really think that the refinery was waiting on you to sell their product? Do you really think that the dude that put 100 million to build this refinery was waiting on you to sell their product? Seriously? Don't, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against people that send me messages or email or something like this. But in a lot of cases, this is exactly the type of conversation that I have. What is wrong with you? This is plain stupidity. I mean, plug your brain. What, what do you think? Anyway, so if you want to start a trading firm without prior experience, this is what you should do. Listen to me carefully. This is what you should do to close your first deal. Start ridiculously small. Close the smallest deal possible. This is exactly how six entrepreneurs that I know started with no experience. And they are from Canada, Switzerland, Nigeria, Benin, Romania, Hong Kong. So it works everywhere in the world. So don't get like, oh no, but in my country it's different. No, no. It's the same everywhere. So let me illustrate. The entrepreneur in Nigeria starting to buy few bags of cocoa beans inside the country and then resell them at the port. And this is the same story for the guy in Benin. He went inside the country, bought cashew nut right at the farm to then resell them at a warehouse near the sea. The president of started with selling only one pallet of whey protein. Only one pallet. And you know what is a failure? It took him six months to sell this pallet. Six months. My friend Paul, with his biomass trading company, he started at 22, right at university. He had no money. He had to lend the money from his parents to buy his first truck of wood pallet. I think by then one truck was made 3,000 or 4,000 euros, something like this. Then the truck arrived at his parents' garage, he unloaded everything and he distributed the product bag by bags. Can we imagine that? Mero is doing, I don't know, 200 trucks per month or something like this. By the way, I know all of that because in the last module of the shipping and commodity operator certificate, we interview commodity traders, business owners, where they explain how they started, they explain their career, and they give us all the juicy details about uh, what their job is about. Things that you've never heard anywhere else. So if you are of an interest, just check the first link in the description below the video. Back to the video. By starting small with few pallets, few bags, few jerry can, you will learn everything about the job. How to do an invoice, how to work the VAT, how to end up operational issue. You will start to learn the local players. How do they move? How do they work? Step by step, you will start to understand a little bit better your commodity, what makes a bad quality, what makes a good quality. You will understand the details in different specifications, why I don't see hashes here, but I see hashes in this specification sheet and so on. You build up your experience from the ground up by doing it, by executing it. So then in a second step, when you speak with bigger player of your industry, they can see that you understand what you do, that you've been through the trenches, that you've had your fair share of problems, and that you are not like a, a talker, but you really did the work. And by doing so, they are more likely to give you a chance with loose payment term or everything else that you would need. What you need to understand is that in today's world, closing, executing is extremely important. 
as the knowledge is available to anyone. The difference between a talkers, a dreamers and a doers is big. And believe me, there isn't a lot of doers out there, especially in commodity trading. So to sum up, start ridiculously small and build up your experience from the ground up. That's it for me today. I hope that you liked the video. Ciao.